Let's talk about naming cycloalkanes, cycloalkenes, and cycloalkynes. Uh, the first thing to note is their general formulas. This is going to be really important in the isomer unit especially. So the general formula of a cycloalkane, first of all, a cycle is a circle, alkane meaning all single bonds. So these are carbons in a circle, but there's all single bonds between these carbons. And their general formula, in order to like take that line and attach it, has to take off two hydrogens. So we have CNH2N, and they are isomers, which is a word we're going to learn. Uh, it means they have the same molecular formula as their alkene counterpart. So a straight chain with a double bond has the same number of hydrogens and carbons as a circle with single bonds. A cycloalkene then is a circle with a double bond in it, a circle with a double bond in it, and its general formula is CNH2N minus two, and you've seen that general formula before in the alkynes, the straight chain alkynes. Cycloalkynes then, uh, their general formula is CNH2N minus four. They're gonna be a circle with a triple bond in them. They're really unstable in real life, and so they're not very likely to be found, uh, simply because if you have a carbon that's trying to get all three bonds in this direction, and then you get another bond in that direction, it, it's called ring strain. It, it's just too, too, it's too far away to have those orbitals overlapping. Okay, so here we go. Uh, naming cycloalkanes. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six examples here of cycloalkanes straight out of your notes. Naming cycloalkanes is, is not that hard. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine carbons here. How do we say nine in organic chemistry? We say non. Uh, these are all singly bonded. So this is non-ane and they're in a circle. So cyclo, non-ane. Now, just to be super clear, there's a carbon here, a carbon here, a carbon here. There's already two bonds, so there are two more hydrogens, H2, H2, H2. And if I went all the way around, I would get all of those nine carbons and then two, four, six, eight, 18 of those hydrogens fulfilling the CNH2N uh, rule, okay? So CNH2N rule, see that? And if I was doing them all in a line, I would need to have a double bond in there in order to fulfill that CNH2N. Awesome, for that isomer of an alkene is what I'm talking about there. Okay, so this one now, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six in a circle. So I have a circle, cyclo, of six hex all singly bonded, so ane. So my parent chain is a cyclohexane. Now I do have this methyl group that's hanging on here that wants to be named as well. So I'm gonna need a methyl cyclohexane, and that's gonna be on carbon one, uh, because like a tire, there's no top. You just drive a little further, there's a different top. So there's no carbon one, uh, in a circle, it's whatever has the, 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 gives you the lowest branches, just like the straight chain we can name left or right. In this circle, anything can be a one, uh, depending on the lower numbers. So that's going to be a one methyl cyclohexane, but I actually don't have to put the number down because uh, if I don't have a number, it's for sure number one. Uh, but if you want, you can put a number down, uh, but I, I, I won't. Okay. All right, so, um, so in other words, if I don't have a number on, there's only one spot for it, is what that's saying. Okay, so here's another one. This is one, two, three, four, five. So I have a cyclopentane. Can you still see that? Yeah, so cyclo circle, pent, five, ane, all singly bonded. So a circle of five carbons, all singly bonded. And now I have a methyl and an ethyl branch here to talk about. So uh, obviously these are not gonna be carbon ones, but rather this is going to be carbon one, two, three, four, five. I could use the green numbering system in a, in a clockwise direction, or I could do a counterclockwise direction and make this carbon one, two, three, four, five. So the question is, do I follow the purple uh, uh, counterclockwise numbers or do I fo follow the, the clockwise numbers? 
Well, in both cases, I have a branch off of one and two. So there's a tie there in terms of, um, I'm gonna use the one and the two or the two and the one. Just like we did with straight chain, if I have a tie at this point about my branches, the one with the alphabetically uh, higher number, so like the A versus the Z, gets the lower number. So here I have an ethyl versus a methyl. The ethyl is lower in the alphabet, so it's going to get the one, not the methyl. So this is going to be one ethyl, two methyl cyclopentane. So that's very similar to the straight chain when we had that tie, it went to the alphabetical. Uh, it's a similar rule there, which is great about organic. I told you it was like front heavy and then we just sort of maybe tweak the rule or add a rule as we go along. Um, and so that's great because it's the same kind of rule there. So really the only thing you're learning there is the cyclo in that name. Okay, let's do some more. Uh, this is one, two, three. So this is cyclo because it's in a circle, prop, because it's three, ane, because they're singly bonded, awesome. And then I have a methyl on one, two, or one, two, it doesn't matter. So I have one, two, dimethyl, because there's two methyls, right? Two methyls off of carbon one and carbon two, there's a methyl on my cyclopropane. Okay, on this guy, we have a cyclopentane, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So that makes it a cyclopentane. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to find a spot to write this. So a circle of five carbons all singly bonded. And then I have a methyl, a methyl, a methyl, and a one, two, three, four, uh, a butyl. One, two, three, four, butyl, methyl, methyl, methyl. So who's going to get my numbering system? Uh, in this case, I'm not going to uh, follow the, uh, hold on a minute, is this the exact example in your notes? Yes, good. Um, uh, there is no, I'm not going to follow the, the alphabetical one here because there is no tie. Uh, what I'm going to follow here is uh, the, the who gets the branch first game that we played before we had a tie. Right? So I want to be carbon one. Well, I don't even have a branch. I want to be carbon one. I have a branch. I want to be carbon one. I have two branches. So this guy gets to be carbon one because he has two branches. So carbon one because he has two branches, not carbon one because he's lower in the alphabet. Here, they each only had one branch. And so if they each only had one branch, it was genuinely a tie and we needed a tiebreaker. Here, we don't need a tiebreaker. He has two branches, so he gets to be carbon one. And then we have to go around, we could go, we could go clockwise or counterclockwise, but obviously if I go this way, I'm going to hit more branches. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, because if I went that way, it'd be one, two, three, four, and five. And we don't want carbon four and five to have my branches on my other branches. I want two and three. So this is going to be called, um, uh, the butyl has to be written down first because it is first in the alphabet. So three butyl. And then one, one, two, oops, one, one, two, trimethyl, I'm running out of space here, cyclopentane, all one word, but cyclopentane, okay? So uh, three butyl dash one, one, two, trimethyl cyclopentane, I mean, I think it's a butane, sorry. <laughs> I need more coffee this morning. Okay, that's that example. Right, this one here is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six carbons in a circle. So this is going to be a circle of six carbons, all singly bonded. So cyclohexane. I have one and two are going to be one, one, two, two. I'm going to run out of space again. Uh, tetra, methyl, cyclohexane, all, all one word, obviously, just not on this board, it's not today. So one, one, two, two, tetramethylcyclohexane. Okay, let's move into the cyclohexenes and cyclohexines. Okay, they're named the same, cyclohexenes and cyclohexines. The only difference is between the alkanes, cycloalkanes and the cycloalkenes, the difference here 
is the same as it was for the straight chains. The double bond has to have your lowest numbering system. Not your branches, but the double bond. And so how do I get this double bond to be the lowest branch system? Well, it has to be between carbon 1 and 2. That's the lowest numbering system. So either this is carbon 1 and this is carbon 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6, or this is carbon 1 and this is carbon 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6. Okay, so either way, this is going to be called cyclo, a circle of six hex carbons with a double bond, ene. I do not need the number in here. It's actually very wrong if you put the number in here because it's always going to be between carbon one and two. So I never need to put cyclohex one ene because, of course, it's cyclohex one ene. The only, not, the only way I would put the number in there is if it was a diene, and I had to say, okay, one starts on carbon one, and the other one starts on carbon eight, or whatever. Okay, so uh, cyclohexene, no number. Then I have to figure out, if I follow the purple numbering system or the blue numbering system, which one hits my branches first. So I want to be carbon one, I want to be carbon one. This is blue guy, this is the purple guy. And we're going to go around the circle while the blue hits the numberings first. And so we're following the blue numbering system because then my branches are on three and four as opposed to the purple numbering system and my branches would be on five and six. So we're going to follow the blue numbering system and this is going to be three, four, four, trimethyl, three, four, four, trimethyl cyclohexene. Okay, so let's do it again. Here's a cyclohexene again, so cyclohexene again, a circle of six carbons with a double bond in it. The double bond has to be between carbon one and two, so I will not be putting my number in there. So I can either do the purple numbering system, one, two, three, four, or I could do the blue numbering system, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I follow the blue, I'm gonna get the methyl to be on carbon six. If I follow the purple, I'm going to be methyl to be on carbon three, much lower. So I follow the purple system here, and I have three methyl cyclohexene for my name. Okay, that's it. That's cyclohexenes, hexines. Uh, for organic chem 30, your cyclo will always be the parent chain. It won't be a branch. There are branches of cyclos, uh, but that's not till university.